Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Hyden, Kentucky. We're here at Leslie County High School at the Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center, Wendell Wilson Court for girls, 14th region basketball action as the Letcher Central Lady Cougars come calling on the Leslie County Lady Eagles. I'm Jeff Campbell along with my broadcast partner tonight, John Newell. John, two of these teams, you know, the, these two teams, the, you know, two of the top teams in the 14th region and with district tournament starting next week, week this is a great late season matchup here on hand tonight. Exactly, and especially with Wetcher coming in uh, undefeated in the region and in their district, 9-0 and in the region. Uh, be a good, good test for them tonight. Yeah, it will. And we are about 16 and a half minutes away from tipping this one off. We'll send it back to the station for our first commercial break. When we come back, John will be courtside with the interviews of the coaches. We'll be back after this break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. At TVS, we've been working hard preparing for the future. Well, the future is now. TVS offers digital cable, digital phone service, high-speed internet, and a fiber optic infrastructure. We're a local company putting money back into our local economy while supporting our local schools and organizations. What about those other guys? You know, those big out-of-town companies. What have they done for you lately? Mountain people serving mountain people. TVS, 606-439-3167. Primary Care Centers of Eastern Kentucky would like to welcome Dr. Ramon Thomas to our team. Dr. Thomas is a board-certified OBGYN with 14 years experience. He will be working in our hazard location and taking new patients. We will have a full array of services to offer. Call today at 606-439-1300. Primary Care Centers of Eastern Kentucky, focusing on your family's health. Having electric motor problems? Then you, my friend, need to call Maggard Electric. Located on Highway 15, six miles north of Hazard, Maggard Electric has over 300 electric motors in stock, and their EASA-approved staff has more than 30 years' experience in electric motor repair. Swimming pool motors and complete pumps, motor for air compressors, heat pumps, furnaces, and air conditioners. At Maggard Electric, they have it, or they'll get it at the best price. Maggard Electric, serving Perry and surrounding counties. Highway 15, north of Hazard, 436-6886. Welcome back to Leslie County High School. Let's go down to Courtside where John Newell is here with the head coach of the Leslie County Eagles, Coach Olivia Farmer. Take it away, John. The Coach Olivia Farmer of the Leslie County Lady Eagles. Big 14th region game tonight. Yeah, it's a huge game, um, you know, and I'm glad, too, that we're playing it, you know, the week before our district tournament. I think it's a good test for our kids, and I think we're ready to go. You know, they're undefeated, and uh, they've had some close games. And you've had some good wins here, Floyd Central, not not County Central, some big wins there. Yeah, um, the key for us winning this game is defense. You know, our our kids are motivated. We're ready to be the first team in the region to beat Letcher, so hopefully we can come out and do that tonight. Well, like you said, it'd be a good test for you getting ready for the uh, district. Yeah, and you know they have couch. Too. We're you know obviously undersized every single game, but I think this game with our game plan. Um, it's really going to see how we can defend, you know, come district region time. So I'm excited to see how we come out tonight. How are you going to match up with their size? Um, well, we're going to use our strength. Uh, you know, we have a little more length now with Lexi Wilson playing more minutes. So we're going to use that to our advantage. Um, hopefully she can get her hands on a lot of passes like she did against Pollard at night. Um, so we're going to try to use that to the best of our ability. Okay. We wish you the very best. Yep, thank you. All right. It's Coach Olivia Farmer. And uh, Jeff, I'll send it back over to you briefly. That's fine. We'll wait. John, uh, waiting to get a word with uh, head coach of the Letcher County Central Lady Cougars, Coach Keith Baker. That'll be with you shortly. Leslie County, once again, coming into this matchup, 16-12 and 12 on the season, 8-4 and four in the district. And uh, like you heard John and Coach Farmer say, just a huge matchup here tonight in Hyden, Kentucky, as uh, Letcher County Central. If you if you look at if you, you know, a lot of people out there, they believe in that RPI rating. Uh, Letcher Central is number two in RPI in the 14th region, and Leslie County is fifth. So a top five matchup of teams here tonight. Now John has grabbed Coach Keith Baker of the Letcher County Central Ladies Cougars. Let's take it away. Take it away, John. All right, I'm here courtside with Coach Keith Baker, the uh, Letcher Central Lady Cougars head coach. How many years is this for you, head coach? This is my seventh season. Seventh season. Boy, it goes by quick. <laughs> it does, yeah. Blink your eyes and it's gone. Undefeated in the region. 
have, and you're going up against a tough team, another 14th region here in the Lady Eagles. What what do you see as tonight's uh, big thing you need to do in order to keep that record undefeated? Well, I think we got to control the tempo, you know, utilize our size and limit our turnovers and hit the boards. You know, they're a scrappy team. Uh, they they rebound well for their size, and they're going to try to out quick us in every position. Had a good JV game uh, over time. You guys won that, I think, what, by three? Yeah, it was a good one. Good one. We're, we're hoping this game would be the same. Yeah, yeah. I, I like good games. Exactly. And also, this would be a good test for you getting ready for the uh, re, uh, district as well. It will. You know, they're similar size in Knott County and how Knott County plays, so... You know, if we make it to C not in the district championship, you know, it's a good test for us. And you cannot, when you come to the district, it's like the starting all back over. You can't overlook nobody. Oh, no. You know, like, like I tell my girls every day in practice, you know, we play Cordia f- the first game, but you can't overlook anybody. You know, it's tournament time, and, and, and things happen in tournament time. They do, and you've probably experienced that. Yeah, in my life I have, yes. <laughs> All right, we wish you the very best tonight, Coach. Thank you. All right, Coach Keith Baker of the Wetcher Central. Wendy Cougar, back to you, Jeff. All righty, John, thank you. Two good interviews from tonight's head coaches. We're 11 minutes away from the start of this basketball game. We'll send it back to the station when we come back. We'll have a little more pregame preview of tonight's matchup between Letcher Central and Leslie County right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. With the Perry County Public Library card, you can check out books, movies, magazines, ebooks, as well as use their online databases that allow you to take online classes, repair your auto, or research your family history. Visit the library at 289 Black Gold Boulevard, Hazard, Kentucky. Call them at 606 436 2475 or visit their website, perrycountylibrary.org, for more information. The Perry County Public Library, your source for information, education, and entertainment. And at Blatch Wireless, we understand that maybe you didn't really get something nice or anything at all for Valentine's Day. Well, we love you. So here's what we're doing. Taxes on us for the rest of the month. Any device, you come get it and we'll pay the taxes for you. Those flowers have died. You ate all the candy. But a new device is the gift that keeps on giving. Taxes on us because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. If your pops are broke, your hot water's a joke. Who you gonna call? Hot Wheels! And your drains won't drain, driving you insane. Who can you call? Hot Wheels! Call 233-5936. Call 233-5936. You better call Todd. Introducing Fazoli's new stuffed shell. Jumbo pasta shell stuffed with four Italian cheeses, smothered in our signature sauces, then topped with mozzarella and baked in bubbly perfection. Try our garlic shrimp stuffed shells topped with plump shrimp marinated in a delicious garlic parmesan sauce. Our four cheese shells packed with your favorite Italian cheeses, parmesan, ricotta, mozzarella, and romano. Or our stuffed shell duo paired with baked fettuccine alfredo. Enjoy our stuffed shells with our signature garlic breadsticks today. Only at Fazoli's. Limited time only. Price and participation may vary by location. Unlimited breadsticks. Dining on not included. Fazoli's and logo are federally registered trademarks of Fazoli System Management, LLC. Welcome back to the Nixon Recreation Center. Home of Coach Wendell Wilson Court here at Leslie County High School for a big 14th region girls matchup between Leslie County and Letcher Central. Jeff Campbell, John Newell. John, looking at this game, you know, obviously two of the top five or six teams in the 14th region. The one thing I'm really looking forward to seeing tonight is a matchup between two of the region's top scorers for Letcher Central. You have Kiara Couch averaging 17 and a half a game. And for Leslie County, you've got Iris Napier, 16 and a half a game. So two two prominent scorers and both of these coaches trying to figure out how to slow those young ladies down. I think one of the key, and Keith Baker hit, hit on that, and so did Coach Farmer, as you mentioned, they're going to have to slow the Lady Eagles down. If the Lady Eagles are able to, to run with it and able to hit the threes, I think that's going to be one of the, one of the keys for them tonight. And, uh, of course, as you heard Coach Baker, he said, we want to slow the pace down. And you know, the size is to Coach Baker's advantage. Uh, but, again, you get position on a girl. It doesn't matter about necessarily about size. You get a position on her. 
blocker out, then you either have a rebound or you have over the back. But it's going to be – those will be the keys as far as you know, either team – how they're going to win this tonight. And, and I've always said this about rebounding. If you make a lot of shots, that rebounding stat doesn't matter a whole lot. In Leslie County, we've seen them all season long, and when they've had success, they like you said, John, they've been able to shoot the ball really well from the perimeter from behind the three-point line. As a team, uh, both of these teams actually shooting over 30% from behind the, the three-point line, Leslie County at 32% and Lecher Central at 32% as well. Uh, but Letcher Central with a higher field goal percentage, shooting 44% from the field because of that size advantage. Coach Baker, his Lady Cougars really looked to pound the ball inside. What well, we saw in that JV game, uh, what was her name? Uh, Bailey. Uh, Samara you know, Bailey. Samara. Samara? Samara Bailey. Samara Bailey. I tell you, a sophomore, she, she was tough. I see Coach Dickie Adams over there. I think he has a granddaughter, doesn't he, that plays? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. sure. I don't see an Adam son there, but it may be, you know. Right, right. I'm thinking he had a granddaughter he that, may have. that play, but Coach Adams, a lot of success uh, during his time on the sidelines at, at Letcher Central. You know, multiple regional championships and always good. I didn't get a chance to go over and have a word with him, but always good seeing him in the building supporting uh, his – not only his lady, you know, his lady Cougars, but uh, girls basketball in general. Exactly. We were over at Clay County the other night. I took the AAU team over there to play, and uh, before the Lady Eagles played Clay County, and there was uh, Coach Donnie Gray. Oh, yeah. I've seen him on several occasions. He's got a girl that plays on the JV at Clay County, He's a granddaughter. He's got two granddaughters that play great school ball and a grandson that plays, so – talking to his wife uh, before our game and they were getting ready to leave to go watch a grandson play. So, uh, but it was good seeing him and he health wise, he's, he's doing pretty good. Well, good. You know, coach Gray is a, a, not only a legend in the 13th region, but in the mountains as well, a lot of success and a lot of years on the sidelines for the Clay County lady tiger. Yep. And coach Wilson was here last week one day, but I don't see him in his usual spot. So coach, if you're listening, we'll give you a, Shout out. I know you're listening. But if, he, if he's not here, <laughs> you right. can count on. At least we have one person out there listening, but no. <laughs> and speaking of that, we are on Facebook Live tonight, so make sure you tune us in. I think we're at 104.7. 104.7, Radio. and then with, uh, you know, on the WSGS YouTube channel as well. So a lot of different ways to tune us in tonight. And just a, a big matchup, John. A lot of teams, you know, this last week before district tournament, uh, a lot of teams go out of region to look for competition. Uh, but these two teams, you know, not in the same district, but uh, two of the top, you know, five teams in the region, if you're looking at that RPI, uh, really facing off here tonight. And it could be a preview of what we see in a couple weeks uh, at the regional tournament. Exactly. I was trying to look here at some of the other, uh, uh, like Buckhorn, uh, well, they got Jenkins in Quay County. That's the uh, girls. Uh, the boys have uh, Powell and Knox. Um, Fletcher. Okay, that's Wesley County. What about uh, Hazard and Prairie Central? You know what they're like for these last couple games? Prairie Central played at Estill last night, and then they – How was that game? Uh, they won big. Prairie Central won 24, 25 points at Estill County, and then uh, they play – Thursday night at Perry Central. I know that's senior night. I can't really remember who they play. Well, right now. it's not on the schedule. It must be a – is it a makeup game? Uh, it is. It's one they picked up just recently. Okay, because yeah. it's not on schedule. Okay. My Hazard girls, uh, they're uh, – they play Paintsville away but, on the 21st. But like you said, John, all this you, – you throw all, the, all this out the window next Monday night with the start of the – the district tournaments across the uh, state of Kentucky as the night goes on. We'll definitely look at and preview the 54th district tournament, which is hosted here in Leslie County uh, next week. And I know everybody's expecting a big crowd on hand for that one. I know. Uh, let's go ahead and give you the schedule right quick while we got a second here. Uh, Monday night of the a doubleheader girls. First game will be Perry Central and Buckhorn. Perry Central the number one seed and Buckhorn the number four. That will be at 6 o'clock. Followed by Leslie County, the number two seed against Hazard, the number three seed at 745. So a doubleheader. And for the first time, and I can remember, and I've been to about every district game, first time we've had a boys doubleheader, and that will be on Tuesday. 
number one seed is Hazard against the number four seed Buckhorn. That's at 6 o'clock. This is on Tuesday now, the 27th. And then the number two seed, Perry Central against Wesley uh, at uh, 745. And then the girls' championship is on Wednesday at 7, boys' championship on Thursday at 7. And the reason for all that is everything had to be done by Thursday because on Friday morning at 10 o'clock, and this is kind of interesting too when you have the, the boys' region at uh, Powell and the girls at Estill, yet both of them groups are coming to Wolf County 10 o'clock Friday morning to have the draw. I so think, a little I, bit different. I think that's good, really, in a, in a way, other than trying to, you know, shorten the, the district up. Um, you know, you, 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 you get two birds with one stone. A lot of times you're going to see the same teams in the girls' region and the boys' region. Exactly. Uh, and if you don't have to drive all the way to Stanton or all the way to Irvine, uh, just just shorten it up and meet in Wolf County and, uh, you know, everybody eat, eat a good lunch and uh, head on back and <laughs> get the – Get the schedule, get the draw for the regional tournament, and and get ready to get those things underway. Speaking of getting underway, we're about a minute and 20 seconds away from tip-off. We'll send it back to the station for one more break. When we come back, we'll have starting lineups and all the action for you right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Don't spend another minute suffering from pain. Let the staff at Fugit Family Chiropractic provide you with the leading-edge technology and proven techniques for optimum pain relief and minimal recovery time. If you suffer from chronic neck or lower back pain, headaches, herniated or bulging discs, or even degenerative disc disease, let our highly knowledgeable and experienced team help you. Fugit Family Chiropractic in Hazard and Whitesburg. No referral needed and walk-ins are welcome. Your hometown's where you want to raise your family. For Tanner Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, here's Daryl Billings. 0% financing for up to 72 months. Huge rebates, great trade-in allowances, and accommodating, friendly service is what we're all about at Tanner Dodge in Stanton. We'll go the extra mile to get you the best deal possible and make your buying experience positive. Over 83% of the people we have sold to in the past few years have returned to buy from us again. Come see why. You'll be glad you did. Come home to see Tanner Dodge Chrysler Jeep. It should be easy to get health care you can trust close to home. That's exactly what UK Healthcare's North Fork Valley Community Health Center in Hazard is designed for. With a variety of services under one roof, from primary care to behavioral health, and an on-site pharmacy and lab to make it even more convenient for you. It's a provider that treats everyone regardless of ability to pay, all backed by the expertise of UK Healthcare. So you and your family can get healthy and stay healthy. Learn more at UKHealthcare.com slash hazard. Looking for fast, easy, and secure electronic banking? Community Trust Bank has a wide variety of banking services to meet your needs, including internet banking, bill pay, and mobile banking. We now have even more great services like Apple Pay and Google Pay. Make payments directly from your smartphone. And Zelle, a fast, easy, secure way to send and receive money from your smartphone. Visit us on the internet at ctbi.com or stop by and see us at one of our 79 branch offices. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. What's in a name anyway? Well, our answer is everything. Because we're the store that puts our promise to you right in our name. Save-A-Lot Food Stores. Now, Save-A-Lot isn't just a name we pick for ourselves. It's a name we've earned by bringing you only the best grocery items, freshest produce, and quality meat available at the best possible value every day. That's Save-A-Lot. Save money at your local Save-A-Lot store in Hazard and in Hyden. Since 1919, Mine Service Company has been servicing the coal mining industry with quality general mine supplies. Mine Service Company offers a wide range of products, including electrical cable, mine roof support material, lubricants, conveyor belts, and structure, drain pipe, underground miner cap lights. They even have muck and Matterhorn boots and a wide selection of knee pads. Mine Service, locally owned on Highway 15 just south of Hazard, also with a branch on Business 23 in Wise, Virginia. Celebrating over 100 years in the mining industry, Mine Service Company.
Welcome back once again to Leslie County High School for the pregame ceremonies, national anthem, pregame prayer. And John, we're just a few starting lineups to uh, get this, this one started. On the scoreboard, the Letcher Central Lady Cougars. At guard, a five foot six junior, number one, Kara Hawkins. At guard, a five foot seven junior, number five, Paige Dameron. At guard, a five foot ten senior, number 44, Jalen Witt. At forward, a five foot eight sophomore, number 52, Allie Bailey. And at forward, a five foot nine senior, number two, Kira Couch. The Lady Cougars are coached by Whitney Justice, Keela Lowe, and Tierra Tyree, and head coach Keith Baker. scoreboard, your Leslie County Lady Eagles. At guard, a five foot three sophomore, number 14, Ava Napier. At guard, a five foot eight sophomore, number 11, Lexi Wilson. At guard, a five foot five senior, number one, Eden Melton. At guard, a five foot seven senior, number 20, Bailey Smith. And at guard, a five foot eight senior, number two, Iris Napier. The Lady Eagles are coached by Andrew Farmer, Madison Combs, and head coach Olivia Farmer. The officials for tonight's game are Jacob King, Benny Campbell, and Dirk Fletcher. So you heard it there, folks. The starters for Letcher Central will be Holcomb, Couch, Dameron, Witt, and Bailey. And for Leslie County, it will be Melton, Iris Napier, Ava Napier, Lexi Wilson, and Bailey Smith. Officials Jacob King, Benny Campbell, Dirk Flinchon. John, we're ready to get this one underway. Not ready. Leslie County, the home team, dressed in their white uniforms, trimmed in maroon, and the but your central visiting team and their blue uniforms trimmed in white. Unless we kind of be going to the left of your radio dial. Ready for tip off. Ball is in the air. Tip controlled by Fletcher Central. They get in the front court. That's Witt with it out top. Leslie County in a man to man. Witt goes around Napier, puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebound Iris Napier. Lost controlled by Melton. Here come the Lady Eagles. That's Wilson with it down the lane. Kicks it back to Iris Napier. Back to Ava Napier. Lady Eagles are going to set up an offense. Napier hands it off to Wilson. Wilson on the left-hand dribble back to Melton. Melton with a floater. No, passes it out to Napier. Long two-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound controlled by Couch of Fletcher Central. Witt, one of these unique players for Fletcher Central. John, she's really tall, but she handles the ball. She plays more like a guard. Kind of reminds me of the Jody Sizemore days. Oh, yeah. Good days in hiding for sure. Yep. Wick gets it down inside to couch. Jump ball. Jump ball possession will go to the Lady Eagles. It'll be a turnover then for the Metro Central team, their first. Played one minute, no score. Both of these teams sort of feeling each other out. Melton with it, goes off the screen. Back to Iris Napier at the top of the key. She's guarded by Witt, kicks it inside to Wilson. Wilson moving on couch. Ball was deflected, nearly stolen. Now picked up and stolen by Dameron of Lecture Central. Dameron over to Witt. Witt e- looking on the dribble. Eagles first turnover of the game. Leslie County in a man-to-man. Witt off the left side over to Dameron. Dameron, right elbow, kicks it back to Holcomb. Holcomb trying to get it down inside. 
Does so to Couch. Put up shot block. Here comes the late Lady Eagles. Melton with it down the lane, and she's going to be fouled by Holcomb. That's going to be her first, team's first. Nice job by Melton, John, to get that ball. And she was on a mission to get to the paint, fouled before she could get the shot up. It's going to be on the floor, the Lady Eagle ball underneath their basket. 6-13 to go here in the first quarter. We're still scoreless. Eden Melton trying to do something about that. Long three, no good. Rebound chased down by Iris Napier in the right corner. Back to Melton. Eden Milton backing out, calling the play. Gives it, handoff to Bailey Smith. Bailey with a long three, no good. Rebound by Bailey Smith. Over to Wilson. She'll try her hand at a three, no good. Rebound, fought for, pulled down by Dameron of Letcher Central. Here come the Lady Cougars, Jalen Witt. Slows the good defense by the Lady Eagles to get back. Witt. Back to Whit, little give and go. Now they kick it over to Holcomb. Long three-pointer right elbow, no good. Rebound by Bailey Smith. Here come the Lady Eagles. Eden Melton with it, crosses the timeline. On the dribble, crosses back over. Trying to get to that baseline, nothing there. Hits Napier on a backdoor cut. Nice pass, nice finish by Iris Napier. Leslie, Leslie County draws first blood. Pretty cut inside there. Two to zero, Lady Eagles on top. Letcher Central gets it to Bailey. Top of the key, tries to get it down inside the couch. Ball's deflected. Controlled by the Lady Cougars. Back up top to Whit. She looks over at Coach Baker, trying to get the offensive play. Directing traffic, gets it to Kiara Couch. Couch spins, kicks it over in the right corner to Dameron. Dameron back inside to Bailey. Can't get a shot up, kicks it. Left wing to Holcomb. Three-pointer on the way is good. Her first basket of the day. Three to two, Lady Cougars. First lead for the Cougar, Lady Cougars. Leslie County with it. Wilson moves on couch. Spins back. Nothing there. Gets it back to Ava Napier. Napier down the lane. Puts a shot up. Blocked. But Iris gets it. Puts it up. No good. But draws the foul. Iris Napier will go to the line for two shots. That's the third offensive board now for the Lady Eagles. Her foul is going to be on Letcher Central's 52, Allie Bailey. Her first team second. Iris Napier at the line for two shots. 79.2% free throw shooter. First trip to the charity strip stripe. And it's good. Tie ball game, 3-3. Three to three. 422 remaining here in quarter number one. Second free throw on its way from Iris Napier is good as well. Nothing but net on that one. That was... She's got all four points for the Lady Eagles here in the first quarter. They're on top four to three. Let your central basketball. Whip being guarded by Napier up top. Kicks it in the right corner to Dameron. Down inside. Shot put up no good. That was by Bailey. Here come the Lady Eagles. Gets it down to Iris Napier. Puts the shot up blocked. Out of bounds by Dameron will be Leslie County basketball underneath their own basket. Coach Baker's not happy about something there. Getting his two cents worth into the official in front of him there. We thought Bailey got fouled on her move to the basket. No call. Long three-pointer on the way by Lexi Wilson. Her first basket of the night. 7-3. Lady Eagles on top. Looked awful easy coming out of that inbounds play. John Lakes, he just caught it and let it fly. She's worked hard to get that starting position. Shot put up by Whit, no good. Offensive rebound by Bailey of Lecture Central, no good. Now Whit has it for the Lady Cougars, gets it to Dameron, 15 footer from the right elbow, no good. Rebound pulled down, controlled by Eden Melton of the Lady Eagles. Melton crosses the timeline over to Bailey Smith, back to Melton. Long three pointer straight away, no good. Rebound controlled by Whit of Letcher Central. 3.15 left in the first quarter. Leslie County on top. Letcher Central basketball down inside to Bailey. No good. Rebounded by Napier. Here comes Iris. Crosses the timeline. Thinks about the three. Tries to get it inside to Melton. She can't control it. Chases it down. Gets it over to Lexi Wilson. Deep in the right corner. Wilson. Tries to hit Iris Napier on the cut. Now gets it back up top. Long two-pointer on the way by Bailey Smith. No good, but another offensive rebound for Iris Napier. Fourth offensive boards for now for the Lady Eagles. Been able to capture on one of them so far. 
Yeah, that's just a, a, a big stat early on if you're Coach Farmer. She said her girls are ready to play and uh, a lot of effort and intensity from the Lady Eagles. Lexi Wilson, double team, puts a shot up. No good. She traveled before the shot. Nice double team that time by Lecher Central. Very good defensive job. Seven to three, Leslie County on top. Lecher Central basketball. 219, 218 left here in the first quarter. Whit with it. Hits it over to Dameron. Dameron sets the back screen, tries to get it down inside the couch. Now Witt has it. Over to Dameron. Long three from the right corner. It's going to be short. Rebound controlled by Lexi Wilson of Lecher Central. Here she comes on the dribble. Gets it over to Melton. Melton, ball deflected out of bounds off of Lecher Central. <laughs> Leslie County basketball. At her first sub, we got Bella Lewis checking in for Lexi Wilson for the Red Eagles. Boy, just huge minutes right there for Lexi Wilson. Uh, for Coach Farmer. Good start for her in this game. Has been. Well, Coach Farmer said, John, in your pregame interview that her length and athleticism brought a little life uh, to Leslie County, and that's been evident here in the first quarter. Had the privilege of coaching her in grade school. Bella Lewis kicks it over to Melton, or excuse me, Smith. Smith. Long three, no good. Here comes Lechard Central. Dameron with it on the left wing. Goes off the screen from Witt. Dameron down inside to Couch. Puts it up and in. Nice move. Kiara Couch. 7-5. Here come the Lady Eagles in a hurry. Ava Napier puts the shot up and in. There's getting the ball down the floor quick. Yeah, Letcher Central didn't get back. And, boy, I tell you what, Ava Napier will make you pay, John. Oh, she, she is so quick. Quick as a hiccup. Letcher Central basketball. Dameron deep in the right corner. Tries to get it inside the couch. Double team deflected by Melton. Here comes, gets it over to Bailey Smith. Smith, shot fake. Kicks it back up top to Eden Melton. Melton trying to get in the paint. Gives it to Bella. Nope, doesn't give it to Bella Lewis. Back up top to Ava Napier. Looked at her. I thought she was going to get Lewis on that back door cut. Ava Napier goes off the screen for Myris Napier down the lane. Puts the runner up. No good. Rebound by Dameron of Letcher Central. I got a little bit intimidated on the size on that one. Well, Letcher Central's got some size. They're really long. They run on offense. They're really running this double low post, trying to pound the ball inside. Right. Whip over to Dameron. It's back inside to Couch. Couch puts it up and in. Kara Couch gets going down low, John. She's hard to deal with. Back-to-back buckets for her now. Letcher Central cuts the deficit to two. Leslie on top, nine to seven. 15 seconds left here in the first quarter. Melton gets it to Iris Napier. Over to Ava Napier. A little confusion on what to be running. Iris just says, give me the ball and get out of my way. Puts up the shot. It's blocked by Witt out of bounds, but Leslie County ball. Nice job there. Nice block. That's the thing that Lecher Central has with that length is just the ability to contest those shots. One second, Melton fires a three at the buzzer. It's no good. We're going to go to the end of the first quarter. Leslie County leads by two, nine to seven. We'll be back for quarter number two here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. At HydenCitizensBank.com, the bank never closes. You can check balances, transfer funds, and even pay all of your bills online. And best of all, it's free. Don't let your busy schedule keep you from getting your banking done. Do it online at HydenCitizensBank.com. And if you don't have an account, come in and see one of our friendly staff members at any of our four convenient locations. It's banking the way you want it, anytime, any place. At HydenCitizensBank.com, we're always open. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Just what the doctor ordered, 24 hours a day. One Stop Market in Stennett. Whether your car needs a fill-up or you need a fill-up, One Stop Market is just what you need. Hamburgers, hoagies, Philly cheese, steak, and pizza, plus an incredible breakfast menu. Short orders prepared around the clock. Gasoline, food, groceries, the name says it all. One Stop Market in Stennett, a friends of cold business. Stop in and see Amy and the crew. Your business is always sincerely appreciated. One Stop Market. Welcome back to Leslie County High School here at the Nixon Recreation Center. Coach Wilson, Court, John Newell. Couldn't have been a better first quarter played by these two teams. Pretty even stats. Two of eight for the Lady Eagles. One of, from the field. One of six from the three. Two of nine for Letcher Central. One of three from the 
three. The only difference is uh, two free throws made by Iris. Let's give him the two-point lead. And one of the things that we saw late in that first quarter, Letcher Central really making that concerted effort to pound the ball inside. And just right on cue, they shoot a three-pointer. It was no good. Ball was rebounded, controlled by Witt. Witt puts it up no good, gets her own rebound, gets another offensive rebound. Another three-pointer on the way by Holcomb, no good. Rebound pulled down by Leslie County. Numerous chances by the Lady Cougars. Couldn't oh, get it to goodness. go. Three well, offensive boards right there. Iris Napier on the drive down the left side. Kicks it out to Kylie Lewis in the game. Back up top to Ava Napier. Long three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jalen Witt. Nine to seven, Leslie County on top. Letcher Central looking over at Coach Baker, getting the call. Witt going off the high screen from Bailey. Kicks it in the corner to Dam- Dameron. Ten-footer is good for Paige Dameron. A tied ball game. 6.52 left before halftime. Melton with it. Goes off the high double screen from Wilson and Iris Napier. Back to Napier. Thought about the three. Now drives down the lane. Gets around Witt. Puts it up and in. Nice finish by Iris Napier. Witt didn't quite get to her that time. Blocked her last time, but that little ball fake, a little ball shot, and drive her around her, her quickness. Nice ath- athletic move by Iris Napier. Fletcher Central with it. Long three-pointer on the way from Hawkham. No good. Rebound pulled down by Napier of Leslie County. Leslie County up ahead. Gets it to Ava Napier. Now deep in the corner to Lexi Wilson. Wilson gets it down on the right block to Iris Napier. Up top to Lewis. Back up top to Ava Napier. Going to set it up and think about it. Ava Napier goes around Witt. Back to Melton. Runners up. No good. Rebound controlled by the Lady Cougars. Kara Hawkham with a rebound. Fletcher Central real methodical, John. We talked about, you know, they're not really looking to run. They're really looking to set this offense up, try to uh, attack. Long pass. Down low to Couch. She's double teamed, triple teamed. Ball deflected but controlled by Witt. Long skip pass in the corner to Hawkham. Hawkham hits Witt on the high post. Moves, gets her shot. No, throws it to Couch down inside. Puts it up and in. Kiara Couch with a finish down inside. Foul's going to be on Leslie County's number 33, Kylie Lewis. You heard first. Team first. Got some subs coming in for Leslie County. Got Bella Lewis and Peyton Turner and Bailey Smith and... For Letcher Central, uh, Scarlet Stamper, number 25. Couch at the line, looking to complete the three-point play. She does so and gives our Lady Cougars the lead. They're on top 12 to 11. Here comes Leslie County. First lead for them since 3 nothing lead. First in the game. Turner gets it to Wilson. Long three rims out for Lexi Wilson. Rebound pulled down by Kara Hawkham of the Lady Cougars. Gets it to Witt. Horns set for Letcher Central. Witt goes off the screen, puts her shoulder down, a lot of contact, misses the shot, gets a rebound, puts it up and in. Two points for Jalen Witt. Nice board work there by Witt. Getting the offensive board is going back with it. With sort of a, a triple threat. She can block shots, she can rebound, and she can definitely score, and she's a great passer as well. As Iris Napier goes down the lane, puts a shot up, no good. Rebound pulled down by Dameron of Letcher Central. That might have been partially blocked. Can't tell by who, though. The foul is going to be on Leslie County's number 11, Lexi Wilson, her first. An opportunity for a Letcher to... Pick up their longest lead if they score here. Yeah, on top, 14 to 11. Whip off the high screen. Kicks it in the corner. Now the ball goes down low. Try to get it inside the couch once again. Deflected out of bounds, but Letcher Central will keep possession. Right there is the bounce pass. Wasn't there. Leslie County really doing a good job when Couch is posting up down low. They're trying to double and triple team her to keep the ball out of her hands. She puts the shot up that time. No good. Rebound controlled by the Lady Eagles. Your coach Baker said foul. <laughs> Peyton was triple team. Turner gets the ball over to Bella Lewis. Working on Hawkham. Lewis gets it to Smith. 
Picks up her dribble, gives it to Lexi Wilson, turns the corner, trying to get down the lane. Nearly a steal by Whip. Wilson gets the ball over to Napier. Napier tried to get it inside to Wilson, just lost it. Steal by the Lady Cougars. Here comes Jalen Witt, crosses the timeline. Little shake and bake down the lane, puts a shot up and in. Nice finish by Jalen Witt. Give Wetcher their longest lead. 16 to 11, 340 left here in the second quarter. That time they went coast to coast. There was no, they didn't waste any time getting down the floor that time. Wetcher did. Wetcher center out scoring Leslie County 9 to 2 thus far here in the second quarter. Lewis with it up top to Wilson. Almost Wilson. turned that over. Wilson being guarded by Couch. Hands it off to Iris Napier. Napier hands it off to Bella Lewis. Lewis back to Bailey Smith. Now Peyton Turner with it. Shoots a little 15-footer. No good. Gets her own rebound. Out to Lewis. Long three on the way. No good. Rebound by Couch of Fletcher Central. Here come the Lady Cougars. Looking to extend this seven-point lead. Five-point lead, excuse me. Are you prophesying? I I don't know. (laughs) I'm not mathesying. That's what I'm not. But Witt takes it down the lane and puts it in. And Coach Farmer is going to take a timeout and talk about it. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them back after this short break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Community. That's what your local independent pharmacist believes in. We've been part of your community for years. We live where you live and raise our families alongside of yours. As a local business, we continue to give back to the community we serve because it's our home too. You know us, trust us, and come to us for more than just the right prescription. You come here for prop friendly service where you are more than just a shopper. You're part of our extended family. The Medicine Shop of Hyden. Your neighbors, 672-8705. Welcome back, John. That first quarter was very evenly matched, but this second quarter has been all Letcher Central thus far. Yeah, Jalen Witt, uh, three out of four. Of course, shooting underneath the basket, you're going to get that. And one of them was the offensive board putting back in. Once again, folks, you can check us out on WSGS Facebook, WSGS YouTube. We're on 97.9 WZQQ or on WSGS.com. We appreciate everybody tuning us in. Long three-pointer left corner by Lewis. No good. The ball's tipped, deflected out of bounds, but Leslie County will keep possession. 2.19 left in the second quarter. Lady Cougars on top, 18-11. to They're not connecting on the threes, and that's going to be one of the keys. They're going to win this game. A little spin move down inside by Melton. Shot was blocked, controlled by Witt. Jalen Witt on the drive, kicks it down low to Stamper. She puts it up and in. Now let your central, they're scoring in transition. And when they can do that, John, they're dangerous. Exactly. I had her down for 22. No wonder. 22-11. Lexi Wilson with it. Shoots the runner in the lane. Gets fouled. Nearly gets the shot to go. But she's going to have two free throws. That foul is going to be on the Lady Cougars, number one, Kara Hawkham. That's her second. Team first, Lexi. 57.1% free throw shooter. There for two. First one on its way, no good. Number three, Emma Pavlik checking in for the Lady Cougars, replacing Kara Hawkham. 148 left before halftime, and uh, John, the Lady Eagles need a point. Oh, definitely. They can't let this get out of hand. Second one, no good. Rebound pulled down by Couch of Letcher Central. Stamper with it. Gets it over to Witt. A little shake and bake. Puts it down the lane. Just up and in. Just a nice, strong move and a finish down inside by Jalen Witt. She's having a time this quarter. Leslie County with a basketball. Eden Melton hands it off to Lexi Wilson. Over to Ava Napier puts the runner up. No good. Rebound by Stamper of Letcher Central. Gets it off to Witt. Ball in the right hand. Crosses the timeline. Kicks it in the corner to Dameron. Dameron gets it inside the couch, and she's fouled by Lexi Wilson of Leslie County, and that's going to be her second foul. Her second, team third, non-shooting foul. One minute, 12 seconds left here in the second quarter. Letcher Central on top, 22-11. to 11. Lady Cougars get it into Witt, just at the top of the key. 
Tries to make a move on Melton. Now gives it over to Dameron. Dameron to Stamper. Trying to get it inside the couch. But Stamper puts up the left-hand runner. No good. Rebound fought for. Pulled down by Pavlik. Back up top to Whip. But your Central just keeps coming at you with that length and getting those offensive rebounds. That's going to be an offense in Oklahoma. Oh, walk. Oh, man. Good job that time by Eden Melton. She attempted to step in and draw the walk with her defensive position, or draw the charge, charge with her yeah. defensive position. Called Whip to travel. Yeah, only the third turnover for Wetcher and Wesley County's not being able to take advantage of either one of them. They need to stop here, though. Melton with it. Tries to work on Pavlik. Kicks it over to Smith. Long three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound pulled down by Jalen Witt of Letcher Central. Witt crosses the timeline. Ball in the right hand. A little shake and bake. Just straight down the lane. Puts it up. No good. But he does get her own rebound. They're going to get blue number 25. Stamper for the foul. Her first team second. 21.7 21.7 seconds left here before halftime. Fletcher Central on top, 22 to 11. Eden Melton with it, hands it off to Bella Lewis. Top of the key, gets it to Napier, puts it up. Nice take down inside by Eva Napier. Just couldn't get the shot to drop. Not able to complete it. Nope. Witt with it, doesn't know how much time's left. She's going to have to put up a long two-pointer at the buzzer. It's no good, and we're going to go to halftime with the Lady Cougars of Letcher Central on top by a score of 22 to 11. We'll be back after this break for some halftime stats and analysis. You're listening and watching High School Girls Basketball here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Looking for fast, easy, and secure electronic banking? Community Trust Bank has a wide variety of banking services to meet your needs, including internet banking, bill pay, and mobile banking. We now have even more great services like Apple Pay and Google Pay. Make payments directly from your smartphone. And Zelle, a fast, easy, secure way to send and receive money from your smartphone. Visit us on the internet at ctbi.com or stop by and see us at one of our 79 branch offices. Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. What's in a name anyway? Well, our answer is everything. Because we're the store that puts our promise to you right in our name. Save-A-Lot Food Stores. Now, Save-A-Lot isn't just a name we pick for ourselves. It's a name we've earned by bringing you only the best grocery items, freshest produce, and quality meat available at the best possible value every day. That's Save-A-Lot. Save money at your local Save-A-Lot store in Hazard and in Hyden. Since 1919, Mine Service Company has been servicing the coal mining industry with quality general mine supplies. Mine Service Company offers a wide range of products, including electrical cable, mine roof support material, lubricants, conveyor belts, and structure, drain pipe, underground miner cap lights. They even have muck and Matterhorn boots and a wide selection of knee pads. Mine Service, locally owned on Highway 15 just south of Hazard, also with a branch on Business 23 in Wise, Virginia. Celebrating over 100 years in the mining industry, Mine Service Company. When you're looking for high quality at a fair price, shotguns, rifles, handguns, ammo, jewelry, electronics, go with the winner, JT's Gun and Pawn. Stock up now all the ammo and gear you're going to need. A nice selection of jewelry, electronics, oh yeah, TVs, iPads, laptops, game systems, all at low prices at JT's. JT's Gun and Pawn, open 9 to 5 Monday through Friday, 9 to 2 on Saturdays, 439-4347. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. Your vintage helmet turns heads. Your leather jacket has more zippers than a blue jean factory. Your fingerless gloves fit you like a, well, you know, no doubt about it. Owning a motorcycle makes you look cool, but insuring it with Kentucky Farm Bureau makes you look smart. You even get a multi-policy discount if you're already a Kentucky Farm Bureau customer. Kentucky Farm Bureau, now offering motorcycle insurance. Please give a call Janet Smith, Kentucky Farm Bureau Agency Manager, or Agents Major Robert and Chase Smith. 
Well, welcome back, folks, to beautiful downtown Hyden, Kentucky, here at Leslie County High School at the Nixon Recreation Center. Coach Wendell Wilson Court, Jeff Campbell, John Newell, bringing you all the action tonight from this big 14th region girls matchup, Letcher County Central on top of Leslie County, 22-11. to 11. In a first quarter that was very evenly played, John, yep. the second quarter was sort of dominated by the Lady Cougars. That score, Lady Eagles 15-2. to two. That second quarter is 9-7. to seven. Uh, Wesley at the end of one, but like I said, that scored them 15 to seven or 15 to two. Give you some scores, uh, for Letcher Central, uh, Couch with seven points. Uh, it's Kara Couch, uh, Kara Holcomb with three, Jalen Witt with eight, and all those, all eight of those came right here in the second quarter. Uh, Paige Stamron with two, and uh, Scarlett Stampler with two. <clears throat> Unofficially, I have uh, Letcher. 9 of 21 from the field, 1 of 6 from the 3, 1 of 1 at the free throw line. Foul-wise, Holcomb with 2, Bailey with 1, and Stamper with 1. On the other side of the board, Lady Eagles, Iris Napier with 6, Ava Napier with 2, and Lexi Wilson with 3. Only 3 players have scored for the Lady Eagles. And one of the key stats for them is they are 1 of 11 from the 3. 3 of 15 from the field. Two of four at the free throw line. Foul wise, Lexi Wilson with two, and uh, Kylie Lewis with one. Some other unofficial stats I have Wesley County with uh, 15 boards, uh, 10 of those defensive, five offensive, and they were able to score off of one of them on the offensive board. And for uh, Letcher, uh, 20 rebounds for them, uh, 14 on the defensive end, six on the offensive end, and they scored one out of the six turnovers but not many um, i have three on either team and that gives us our halftime score 22 to 11. uh Letcher jumped out to a three nothing lead and wesley county took their lead first lead at four to three and uh and they gave it up when it was what oh 12 12 to 11. it was actually tied up at nine and then uh they, they took the lead back 11 to 9, Leslie County did, and then 12 to 11, uh, Letcher picked up the lead and not looked back since. But no. again, that score in there, especially by, by Witt, and all those shots came, came inside. One was the uh, offensive putback that she got. Witt has, has done a real good job in, in transition, especially in that second quarter. Getting to her right. She'll come down and she'll be on the dribble. Maybe a little hesitation dribble, a little crossover, but she wants to get to that right side. And uh, I'm sure Coach Farmer telling her girls to make her go left, make her go left, and uh, maybe disrupt her and, and trying to slow this uh, Lady Cougar offense down a little bit, John. But uh, like you said, it, it, it's sort of what we said in the pregame. Letcher Central was really going to look to pound the rock inside. And, and Leslie County, to counteract that, need to get some of those three-point shots going. And uh, they've been a little cold from behind the arc thus far here in the first half. Did a little bit better job by Kiara Couch. She had four points the first uh, quarter. Uh, they held her to two, actually three, with a free throw. But as far as shot underneath, they've held her to two points. They've double-teamed her, but they've not found a, a stop yet for, uh, for Jalen Witt. Leicester Central is, is also one of those teams that it's almost like you pick your poison. If, if Witt's having a really good night, you know, she's averaging uh, just really nine points a game. If you really try to slow her down, then Couch is going to open things up. And if you try to slow Couch down, then that's going to give Witt, Holcomb, and the rest of uh, Coach Baker's, uh, you know, Lady Cougars a little, a little free reign. And, uh, you know, we've seen all year long, you have a kid that – you know, makes a couple shots, and they get that confidence going. And I think that's something we saw with with Letcher Central in the second quarter. If you're Leslie County, you know, here in this third quarter, the first three or four minutes, you want to get some of those shots to drop to get your confidence up and get back in this thing. Yeah, Letcher had four of the five starters have scored. Uh, Allie Bailey's the only one that had some shoes. Oh, four from the field, and then Stamper came in off the bench and scored a quick two. So, again. Uh, it will be possession Wesley County starting the second half. And, oh, look at here. I do, sir. That is Mr. Keela, that's, uh, Keela Lowe's dad. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's a proud grandpa right sure there. Is. And I've known him for 
for many, many years, a fine fellow. And Kilo was a, a, a fine player oh for my goodness. Fletcher Central went on to have a, a phenomenal career over at University of Pike Bowl. And, yes, uh, she did. Have, you know, she's an assistant coach for Coach Baker and uh, done, done an outstanding job. Every game I've seen her, her coach. Uh, she just knows the game very well. You could tell that she was well versed in it as a, a oh, young lady. Yeah, she was definitely, definitely, and just a good kid overall. We're about a minute and a half away from the start of the third quarter. We'll step away for one more break. We'll be back for the third quarter action here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. February is National Children's Dental Health Month and Little Flower Clinic 279 East Main Street wants to remind you about our dental department. Our professional dental staff performs dental prophylaxis, a procedure performed to clean the teeth thoroughly, an important treatment for halting the progression of periodontal disease and gingivitis. Schedule your kids an appointment for an exam, cleaning, and or sealants. Little Flower Clinic accepts most major insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. Call 487-9505. People's Bank and Trust of Hazard is strongly committed to our community's development, investing in a wide range of business and local organizations. You need the support of a local bank that is looking for ways to help you succeed. That's what People's Bank and Trust is all about. They always have your best interest at heart. People's Bank and Trust of Hazard, strongly committed to our community. Member FDIC. Once again, as we get set to begin the third quarter of play between Letcher County Central and Leslie County, it'll be Leslie County basketball. As the Lady Eagles throw it in, and we're underway, John. Leslie County coming out quick. Nice play coming out of the timeout to hit Lexi Wilson for an easy bucket. And here comes the Lady Eagle press. Went with it. Got her head up, looking to get it. Breaks across the timeline. Leslie County falling back in a man-to-man, 22-13. to 13, A quick bucket for Leslie County, John. Just what they needed, hopefully, to get this one started. Exactly. Witt with it. Cross-court pass over to Dameron. Dameron down inside to Couch. Back to Dameron. Had, had Couch a little bit further out than what she's used to being on that. Witt goes off the screen from Bailey. Kicks it down inside to Couch. Puts it up. No good, but she's fouled. That'd be number three, I believe, on Lexi Wilson. They're going to give yeah. it to number one, oh, Aiden okay. Milton. I they say guess to, yeah. I guess that's why Lexi looked and said, I didn't touch her. <laughs> but she didn't get the foul caught on her. Couch going to the line. She'll have two shots. 81.8% free throw shooter. She's one of one so far there tonight. Couch comes into the game, John, averaging 17 and a half points a game. And and when you're a good free throw shooter, that's a whole lot easier to achieve. This is a timeline being defended by Holcomb. That's the thing with Leslie County. They want to press now. They're, little, they're down 11, but they got to be able to score, John, to set up that press, and that's they, they've not been scoring very efficiently. Exactly. Dameron gets it inside the couch. Couch double team tries to fight through the double team. It's going to be a jump ball possession to Letcher Central. They'll well, retain possession, be their ball. I really, like, I really like Coach Farmer's game plan. Really double teaming Couch down low, trying to limit her possessions. Doing a good job on her. Whit with it over in the corner to Dameron. Long three pointer on the way, no good. Rebound pulled down by Couch. Hands it off to Whit. Ball stripped. Nice defensive play by Ava Napier. Iris Napier comes out of there with it, tries to get it down to Ava. Can't handle the pass. Ball's deflected back around. Somehow Eden Milton with, ends up with it and, and nails the three pointer. Her first basket, her first score of the night. Gives the Lady Eagles a chance to set up the press. Dameron with it, crosses the timeline. The straight line drive, puts it up and in. Coast to coast. <laughs> nice take and finish down inside by Paige Dameron. Ten point, let your central lead, 26-16. Six minutes left here in the third quarter. Iris Napier with it. Runs into Lexi Wilson. Wilson can't get the shot up, but I think she's going to be called for steps. Tried to force that a little bit too much. When you're triple team, you can't – not much you can do. Now, sort of got out of sorts on the dribble. Yeah. Called for the turnover. Dameron with it. Over to Hawkins. They had couch open underneath and missed her. Give it to Whit. Long three-pointer on the way by Kara Hawkins. No good. 
Rebound by Iris Napier. She's running towards the basket. One-on-one with Dameron. Puts up the left hand and no good, but she's going to be fouled. It's going to be on Paige Dameron. It's her first, but Iris Napier to the line where she'll have two shots. Iris is a 79.2% free throw shooter. Two for two there tonight so far. It's a good job by Iris tracking down that long rebound and she already had a head of steam. And when you get her in the open floor like that, she's such a good athlete and hard to defend. She's going to get a shot off or get fouled. Yep. First free throw was good. Second free throw on its way. No good. The rebound fought for, knocked out of bounds. It's going to go over to Letcher Central. Good job by Eden Melton that time down inside, trying to come out of, out of there with that rebound. Letcher Central whip has it. Gets it back over to Kiera Couch. Ball's deflected, controlled by Bailey. Now Whit has it once again. Long skip pass in the corner to Dameron down inside to Bailey. Is. Puts it up and in. Her first score of the night. Eden Melton with it, tries to get it to Iris Napier. Ball stolen by Jalen Whit. Behind the back, down the lane, left hand no good. Rebound by Dameron. Little step through, puts it up and in. That's two in a row by from Paige Dameron. Yeah, exactly. 30 to 17, Lady Cougars on top. Melton hands it off to Wilson. Hands it back to Bailey Smith. That's her longest lead, too, of the night. Long three-pointer on the way from Lexi Wilson from the right wing. No good. Rebound can't be controlled by Letcher Central. It's deflected out of bounds. Leslie County ball. It was, uh, what, 11? Now it's 13. Yep, it's a 30 to 17. Lady Cougars on top. Ball deflected and nearly stolen by Whit. And that's a heads up play. She didn't want to, you know, throw it in under Leslie County's basket. So she just took it out of bounds with her. Now the Lady Eagles will have to do it again. Smart move. <clears throat> Iris Napier with it. Top of the circle being guarded by Whit. Iris on the left hand dribble, hands it to Smith. Back to Napier. Goes down the left side, puts up the runner, shot blocked by Jalen Whit. And Iris is on that left side, really nowhere to go. And uh, when she shoots with that right hand, puts it back in the face of Whit. And that's easy block for Jalen. Not in my face. Long three pointer on the way from Avon. Avon's good. Her first basket of the night. That's what the Lady Eagles need, John. Some of those long distance threes to cut into this deficit. Got to cut the 10. Nature Central quickly breaks the press, backs it out. Whip on the dribble. Gets down inside, kicks it over to Dameron. Thought about the three. Now gets it over. That was Bailey with it. It's worked. Skip pass up top to Hawkham. Down inside the couch. Draws a lot of attention. Triple team. Spins out of it. Tries to get it over to Smith. Or to Bailey, excuse me. But they hit the rim. Tracked down by Hawkham. We give that as a shot and a rebound. I think that's a <laughs> well hard. Depends. <laughs> I thought it was a pass. It was. But. Whit over to Hawkham, long three left wing, short. Rebound by Wilson of Leslie County. Here she comes on the bounce. Throws it long down to Napier. Napier back to Wilson. Uh, had Ava Napier in the corner. We didn't see her down there. Leslie County with it back up top. Melton goes off the screen from Iris Napier. Nice screen and roll. Yes. Nice pass, nice finish for the Lady Eagles. Well, got it down to the eight. First time it's been under double digits for a while. A 5-0 run from Leslie County. 30-22. to Whip down inside. Backs it out. Over to Dameron. Spins, reverses. Back inside to Bailey. Tries to step through. Back to Dameron. Gets the pass. Long three-pointer on the way by Hawkham. Hard off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound pulled down by Iris Napier. Over to she, Bailey Smith. Long three-pointer on the way. Good. 8-0 run from the Lady Eagles. And Coach Farmer going to take a timeout and talk about it. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take it with them back after this short break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. 
Let's face it, in today's world, it's easy to get the feeling that the world is against you. So it's really nice to know that you do have someone on your side. The Law Offices of David A. Johnson. Accidents and injury law, personal injury, commercial vehicle accidents, criminal and capital offense cases, drug-related cases. David A. Johnson, Justin Noble, and Michael Johnson will fight for you. Call for a free consultation, 435-1552. Visit them at 461 Main Street in Hazard, online at davidajohnsonlaw.com or on Facebook. This is an advertisement. In Kentucky, basketball is a long-standing tradition steeped in championship history. We at Kimber Furniture are proud to be able to support the Big Blue Nation on WSGS. Come see us at Kimber Furniture and shop all the winning brands that have stood the test of time. And let our all-star team help you choose the best seat in the house. Kimber Furniture, families serving families since 1963. Welcome back. John, a, a big 8-0 run from Letcher Center, from Leslie County, excuse me, got them right back in this thing here in the third quarter. Yeah, down by only five now. It was a 13, was 30-17. to 17. What are they, a 7-0 seven, seven run? But here you here you go. It's what we said off the air, that three-point shot. They weren't going for Leslie County in the first half. They've got at least three to go here in the third quarter to cut into this Letcher Central lead. Letcher Central on top, 30-25. to 25. Leslie County in a man-to-man. Jalen Witt with it out top to the Lady Cougars. Hands it over to Paige Dameron. Dameron over to Kara Holcomb. Holcomb down inside that stamper with it. Down inside the couch. Shot blocked by Melton. And Leslie County couldn't corral the loose ball. It goes out of bounds. It will belong to Letcher County Central. Nice block there by Melton. Double team couch that time. Dameron sets triggered in for the Lady Cougars. Throws it up top to Holcomb. Holcomb over in the right corner to Dameron. She lets the three-pointer fly no good. Rebound pulled down by Stamper, and she traveled with it. She's trying to get the ball to Couch. Just took an extra step, step, so the turnover will give it back to Leslie County. Their second turnover of the uh, night. They score here, John. It's a one-possession game. Exactly. Eden Melton with it out top. Goes off the screen from Wilson, trying a little screen and roll. Melton over to Iris Napier, being guarded by Whip straight away. Napier down the lane, puts it up no good, but draws the foul. So she's going to go to the free throw line, and she's fouled by Jalen Whip. It's her first, team second. And Iris Napier, three of four from the line, will be there for two more. That's the thing that Iris does really well. When she catches that ball at the top of the key, she can rake through and go left. Or she can rake through and go right, and uh, this is the first free throw. But when you can go either way, it makes it hard to guard. Oh, and, definitely. Uh, and we've we've talked all year long about what a just a good athlete she is. Gets the second one to go. Four point Letcher Central lead, thirty to twenty six, one forty left here in the third quarter. Jalen Whit with it crosses the timeline behind the back dribble. Gets it into the corner to Dameron. High post to Stamper. Stamper with the left hand layup. Can't get it to go, but she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. That was Bailey Smith. Be her first. Team second. Stamper's a 51.9% free throw shooter. Her first trip to the free throw line. Missed it hard off the left side. Maybe a good foul by Smith. True. Second free throw on the way from Scarlett Stamper. In and out, no good. Rebound by Lexi Wilson. You said it was a good foul then, huh? Wilson <laughs> with it. I would. Over to Smith. Wilson back to Melton in the short corner. Bailey Smith, shot fake, puts up the 10-footer. No good. Rebound by who else? Iris oh, Napier puts it up and in. Good position there by Iris. I tell you, that's... There's a steal by Melton of Leslie County. Gets it to Iris Napier, and she's going to be fouled by Scarlett Stamper. That'll be Scarlett second, team third. And sub, you got um, Allie Bailey checking back in. Leslie County have an opportunity to either tie this or go ahead. Yeah, just a really good third quarter from Coach Farmer and the Lady Eagles to – 
cut back into this thing is that's that's Eden Melton puts up the runner, gets it to go. We're all tied, 30 apiece. This press, John's been real effective too. Leslie County's been able to score and get in the press as Whip has it. Being guarded by Melton. Melton nearly gets the steal. We'll be close to a 10 second count. She's gonna have to go. Barely gets it across. Melton over to Hawkham down inside the couch, and she's gonna be fouled by Lexi Wilson. That's gonna be her third. Yep. Can't reach over top. Tried to bat it away and be her third, team third. So non-shooting foul. 32.6 seconds left here in the third quarter. Couch with it, puts it up no good, gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. Kiara Couch. An offensive rebound, a putback, gives the Lady Cougars a two-point lead, 32-30. to 30. Eden Melton with it. For Leslie County, hands it off to Wilson. Now back to Bailey Smith. Smith over to Iris Napier. Back to Smith. Puts it on the dribble. Napier with it down the lane. Long three-pointer, Eden Melton. Up and in. Three-pointer. That's going to give Leslie County the lead, 33-32. to 32. As that at the buzzer to end the third quarter, we'll be back for the fourth and final and exciting quarter here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Did something recently change with your pharmacy? Or are you unsatisfied with your pharmacy service? Consider switching to RX Discount Pharmacy on Morton Boulevard in Hazard. RX Discount Pharmacy offers convenience items, drive through delivery, compound medication, and more. RX Discount Pharmacy has been locally owned and operated for more than 30 years, and they don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. So choose a name you know and can trust at RX Discount Pharmacy. Nobody beats the Big Kahuna. East Kentucky's world-class premier car wash, giving you the ultimate car wash, the most modern and advanced car wash experience available today. Check out the new ceramic car wash option. It's incredible. Big or small, they clean them all. Nobody beats the Big Kahuna car wash. Located next to Fazoli's in Hazard. Single washer memberships are available. Free vacuums with wash or memberships. For East Kentucky's best car wash, remember the The Big Big Kahuna. Kahuna. Welcome back as we're set to begin the fourth quarter of play. John, just a phenomenal third quarter by Leslie County to get back in this well, thing. Look at their stats, four or five from the field, four or six from the three, two or four at the free throw line. I think Coach Farmer will take that anytime. Leslie County basketball to start the fourth quarter. Looking to extend the lead. Iris Napier on three, no good. Gets her own rebound down the lane, puts a shot up, no good. An offensive rebound by Leslie County. Going to be out of bounds. Lady Eagles basketball. Hitting the boards. Leslie County with all the momentum right now, John, playing with all that effort and intensity that Coach Farmer talked about in her pregame interview. Exactly. Bailey Smith thought about the long three. She sure did. Gets it over to Iris. Napier being guarded by Witt. Witt nearly with a steal. Ball deflected, controlled. By Wilson. Now Eden Milton has it out top near the volleyball line for Leslie County. Milton down the lane. Puts the runner up. No good. Rebound controlled by the Lady Cougars. Jalen Witt being defended by Iris Napier. Set to just keep her dribble. Goes off the screen from Couch. Over to Dameron in the right corner. Dameron tries to work down the left side. Now Holcomb has it. Nearly taken away from her by Ava Napier. Ava's got those quick hands, I tell you. She... <laughs> Lexi Wilson's done a good job down inside on Kier Couch. Kier with it, puts the shot up, no good. We're going to have an offensive foul on number 52, Allie Bailey. It's going to be her second. Good defensive trip that time from Leslie County. Went over the back. That'd be her second. Team first. Got to mark my fouls here. 33 to 32, Lady Eagles on top. Milton with it. It's off the screen from Wilson. Ball nearly stolen by Whip, but Iris Napier down the lane. Shot blocked by Couch. Rebound pulled down by Bailey. Gets it over to Whit. Here come the Lady Cougars. Nice defense that time getting back from Leslie County. Whit with it. And she traveled, sure did. Nice defensive pressure from Iris Napier forces the turnover. 
Gives the ball back to the Eagles. That would be their number four for this half. Six minutes, 15 seconds left in the ball game. Eden Melton over to Iris Napier. Napier crosses over down the left side. Picks it back to Melton. Long three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound pulled down by Jalen Witt. Here come the Lady Cougars in a hurry. Gets it over to Dameron. Left-hand layup. Puts it up and in. And she's going to be fouled by number 14, Ava Napier. Be her first. Team first. Dameron, a 56.5% free throw shooter. Be her first trip to the free throw line. Be there for two. That's your central. John, not really a team that likes to get out and run, but they will run when the opportunity presents itself. We're all tied up. Well, actually, Letcher Central on top, 34 to 33. Says she was there for two. Actually, she was there to complete the, the three-point three play. Three-point yeah. play. Ava Napier with it over to Bailey Smith. Long three-pointer on the way from Smith. Hard off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound pulled down by Jalen Witt of Letcher Central. Coach Keith Baker calling out the play for his Lady Cougars. It's inside the couch. Down inside the Bailey. That's going to be a turnover, unforced turnover by the Lady Cougars, Leslie County Basketball. A little bit too hard and high for that one. Letcher Central likes to run that high-low. and it, that's, It's hard to do on the initial set. You almost, it, it's a whole lot easier when that ball's reversed. Exactly. To try the high low is Leslie County basketball. Even Iris Napier long three pointer no good. Rebound pulled down by Lexi Wilson. Shot blocked by Couch. Now here come the Lady Cougars. Jalen Witt down the lane kicks it out to Dameron long three no good. And that's going to be an over the back on Bailey once again. That's her second foul in about four trips and both of them over the back. Be her third. Team second. Leslie County basketball. They're looking to take the lead. Metro Central on top, 34-33, 4-55. Left in the ball game. Eden Melton with it. Being guarded by Kara Holcomb. Now Melton down inside to Wilson. Puts the runner up no good. And she's going to be fouled by Kiara Couch. He Kiara's first. Team third. <laughs> It's going to send Lexi Wilson to the line for two shots. She was 0-2 so far there tonight. Close games like this, Jeff, you know you got to hit your free throws. And Lexi Wilson right on cue makes the first one. they got a tie ball game. You're exactly right, John. They, they amplify no in importance down the stretch. Second one's no good. Rebound was pulled down by Kara Hawkham, and she's fouled by Leslie County's number 11, Lexi Wilson. That's her fourth. That's her fourth team second. If you're Leslie County, you can ill afford Lexi Wilson picking up her fifth foul, but you can also ill afford to take her out right here. You, and apparently she's staying in. You got to – I mean, what do you, you – as a you, coach, you know, you got to – Make those decisions sometimes. If you, if you take her out, she's sitting on the bench. If she gets her fifth foul, she's sitting on the bench. you got to yep. roll with it and trust her. And balls down inside the couch. Being guarded by Wilson. Couch puts it up, and she traveled. Good, good defense that time by Wilson. She didn't foul. Kept her hand straight up and forced the turnover. Coach Baker didn't not like that. <laughs> Leslie County basketball. She was triple team. Yeah, right? And Leslie County's done that all night long to count. Just a real yeah. good defensive effort. Iris Napier with it down inside, working on Witt. Kicks it out top to Ava Napier down the lane. And floater blocked Whoa. by Witt. And the ball was blocked off of Ava Napier. And it's going to give possession to the Lady Cougars. Nice job there by Jalen Witt. I don't know how many blocks she has, but she's got several tonight. And we're going to have a timeout taken by Letcher County Central. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back after this short break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. 
East Kentucky Carpet One has been serving Eastern Kentucky for more than 45 years. And we are proud to say that we are still here with the same quality family-owned business. We have experience in commercial and residential properties with a fully stocked warehouse. We also have access to luxury vinyl waterproof flooring, tile, carpet, and much more. Professional installation is also available. Stop by East Kentucky Carpet at 204 Willie's Way or give us a call at 606-439-3858. East Kentucky Carpet One. Welcome back, folks. Four minutes, two seconds left in this ball game. Letcher Central and Lesley County all tied up. 34 piece. Letcher County Central basketball. John, been a very entertaining basketball game, but we're in for a fantastic finish here in this last four minutes. Exactly. Whip gets it in for Letcher Central. Straight down the lane, puts a shot up and in, and draws Ooh. the foul. Oh. She's going to be fouled by Smith. It's going to be the second foul on Bailey Smith. And Jalen Witt gets a run at you like that, John. Just hard to do anything with her. Not, not the most favorite call in the, in the gym here tonight. I think a lot of the Leslie County players thought that uh, they called a charge as it was a, a block charge call, but it was indeed a block. And Witt converts the three-point play. Fletcher County Central on top, 37-34. Melton with it over to Ava Napier. Hands it off to Lexi Wilson, looking to turn the corner. Gets it to Iris Napier. She turns the corner, loses the handle, able to get it back. Puts the shot up and in. Nice finish by Iris Napier. 37-36, Fletcher Central on top with a basketball. 3-33 left in the ball game. Jalen Witt. Looking to go off the screen from Allie Bailey. Does so. Cross-court pass to Dameron. Another cross-court pass. This one's stolen by Ava Napier. Down the lane. Stops. Puts a shot up. It's blocked. Rebound by Melton. She puts it up. No good. Gets her own rebound, but loses the handle. Nice defensive possession that time by Lecture Central. John Leslie County missed two one. That would have been huge. Yeah, two, right there. <laughs> two layups at point blank range. Jalen Witt goes off the screen from Bailey down the lane over to Dameron in the corner. Dameron dribbles it back out top, back to Witt. And skip pass to Kara Hawkham. She just has it taken away. Great defense that time by Ava Napier. Gets it out to Iris Napier. Napier on the drive, puts it up, and no good. Rebound, fought for everybody on the deck. Ava Napier comes out of there with it. Back to Iris Long, three, no good. Rebound controlled by Hawkins of Letcher Central. Missed opportunities there for the White Eagles. And you could hear the air almost go out of this gymnasium waiting for that three-pointer to go in from Napier. Letcher Central with a basketball and a one-point lead, 37-36. Witt, a little penetrating dribble, tries to get it. Now she does get it back up top to Kiara Couch. She goes off the screen from Witt. Kara Couch looking to dribble. Another steal from Ava Napier. This time she's uncontested. Puts the layup up and in. And after that basket, Coach Farmer will take a timeout to set the last 153 as her Lady Eagles take the lead, 38-37. We'll be back after this break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. February is Heart Month, a time to focus on your health. You have the power to take action to protect yourself against heart disease, and ARH wants to help you prioritize your heart health. ARH cardiology clinics offer expert personalized care, including screenings and heart-healthy lifestyle planning, all close to home. To find an ARH cardiology clinic near you, visit arh.org slash cardiovascular and schedule an appointment today. Your heart is in good hands with ARH. ARH, more for Appalachia. When times are at their worst, Couch and Fugit attorneys at law are at their best. Couch and Fugit can help with bankruptcy, foreclosures, medical debt, credit card bills, repossessions, and tax issues. Bankruptcy, Chapter 7 and 13. Plus, they offer free consultation. Couch and Fugit attorneys at law with offices on Main Street in Hyden and 310 West 5th Street in London. You can visit online at couchandfugit.com or on Facebook. Couch and Fugit attorneys at law, 672-7300. Welcome back, folks. One minute, 53 seconds left in what has been a fantastic ball game. Leslie County on top, 
38-37. And, John, if this is any preview of what the 14th region uh, basketball tournament is going to look like or these district tournaments are going to look like, these folks are in for uh, uh, some great basketball here in the next couple of weeks. I believe it is. And like you said, we were talking earlier, one of these teams draws, one of these teams went in uh, as a loser. Or they have to, one of these teams is a loser, another team has to play them. That's going to be tough. Long three pointer on the way from Letcher Central. No good. Ava Napier with a rebound. Drives down, shot fake. Spin move, puts it up, no good. Rebound fought for, controlled by the Lady Cougars. Another missed easy shot there by the Lady Eagles. Ava Napier has really picked it up on defense. She's got to have three or four steals here in the second half. Quit with it. Tries to get it down inside, does so to Couch. Couch puts it up, no good. Rebound, fought for, tip. Controlled by Lexi Wilson of Lecher Central. Or, excuse me, Leslie County. 38-37, Leslie County on top with a basketball. Clock winds under one minute. One minute left to play. Lecher's got two fouls. They got a Ava Napier with it. Straight line drive, puts it up, no good. A lot of contact, no call. Here comes the Lady Cougars. Jalen Witt down the lane, puts a shot up, and no basket. Offensive foul on Jalen Witt. That'll be her second, team fourth. And that's going to give the basketball back to Leslie County, a one-point lead, 46.6 seconds left in the basketball game. We'll take a timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back to set the final call here on East Kentucky Sports Network. Nothing goes along better with sports than pizza, and nobody does pizza like Papa John's. Open till 11 p.m. weekdays and until midnight on the weekends. Don't feel like going out? It's not a problem with Papa John's. Call your order in at 439-2332 or place your order online at papajohns.com, and they deliver. Right now, get one large pizza with up to five toppings or a specialty pizza online. Just use promo code 1799-8NY. Papa John's Pizza in a class of its own, located on Highway 15 North in Hazard. Welcome back once again, folks. They're here at Leslie County High School to Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center. Coach Wilson Court. And Coach Wilson, if he's watching at home, he's got to be very impressed with the uh, Leslie County Lady Eagles down the stretch here in the second half, John. I hope he's sitting on the front of his couch. <laughs> he might be way back in his recliner. I don't know. Leslie okay. County with a basketball. and you know, if you're Leslie County here, you just you sort of have to take care of business. You got to play fundamental basketball. Don't turn it over and make your free throws, and uh, see what happens. So Letcher, well, one more foul, and uh, Leslie County be in the bonus. Letcher coming out with full court press. Really, first time we've seen them do that tonight. And they get it to Iris Napier, and she takes it, and the ball is blocked. Good defensive play that time by Paige Dameron. Blocks the ball out of bounds. The Leslie County basketball underneath their own basket. Lady Eagles on top, 38-37. Smith trying to get it in, does so to Napier, and she's fouled by Witt. That'd be her third, team fifth. That's going to say it. I had five. (laughs) I think everybody else had five as well, John, so that's going to send Ava Napier to the line for two free throws. 74.2% free throw shooter. 40.2 40.2 seconds left in this ball game. Leslie on top, looking to extend the lead. First free throw from Napier is good. 39-37. You got uh, Allie Bailey checking back in for Letcher. Second free throw from Napier is good as well. Three-point Lady Eagle lead, 40-37. And here's Napier with a steal, nearly a steal, stepped on the line. I'm telling you, Ava Napier has been a menace on defense here in the second half. That's, again, the quickness there. Letcher Central gets it in to Jalen Witt. On the call, the full court press off. 35 seconds left. Witt gets it over to Kara Hawkham, back to Witt. Goes off the screen, long pass over in the corner. That's Dameron. Dameron, there's Napier with a steal. Napier backs it out. Just going to be content. Gives it over to Iris Napier, and she's fouled by Witt. Wow. I wish I kept track of me still. But I'm telling you, Ava Napier, Letcher Central has tried that cross-court pass numerous times, and uh, 
went to the well not one too many times, several too many times as uh, Ava Napier with another steal and gives it to her sister Iris for two free throws up and in. Four point Leslie County lead, 41-37. That was the big one there, especially make it a two possession game. Second one's good as well. Emma Pavlik checking in for the Lady Cougars. Going to be a 30-second timeout from Coach Farmer. We're going to keep it right here. 20.4 seconds left. Leslie County on top by five. 42 to 37. Letcher Central Basketball. And, John, if you're, if you're Leslie County, you just got to play good defense and rebound right here. The clock's in your favor. Letcher has not scored. The last score they had was at 330. They've gone over three minutes without scoring. And in those three minutes, you've had 11 turnovers, and Leslie County has scored off of three of them. Big, big stat there. Uh, for, they only had three turnovers the first half. and But they've but you got to give credit to the Lady Eagle defense, too. Right. No reading those passes. And, and playing with a lot of effort and intensity. At one point in time, they could have quit. They could have folded the tents and – just cashed it in, but they have fought back and have a five-point lead with under 20 seconds left. Whit down the court for Letcher Central. Gets it to Pavlik. Pavlik gets it back up top. Long three by Holcomb is good. Timeout, Letcher County Central. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll keep it right here. That's going to be a two-point basketball game with under nine seconds left. Or under 10 seconds left, excuse me. So what do you do? You try to get the steal. If you can't get the steal, you have to foul. If I'm Letcher County Central, Leslie County, the last time Letcher tried to press, Leslie ran that little four cross. They made one pass, got it to Iris, and she drove down and maybe got fouled. But she had a great look. So whatever you do, you have to keep Iris Napier in front of you. Exactly. You got to keep Ava Napier in front of you. But I'm I'm trying to – right here – you, you have to bring that pressure. You've got to try to get a steal, and if you don't get a steal, you've got to foul immediately to, to save some time. Are you doing a play of the game? I, I think so. I, I mean, I – We don't have a timeout to think about. But. No, but I, I mean, you got a couple different ways you want to go, and that's who I was leaning if if, if – if, I, I think that that's definitely you the case. you in agreement with that? I am, yes. Well, you can't name it yet because the game's not over with right, yet. Right, right. So. <laughs> wow. Well, we, we said the JV was close. We hope the varsity. And, and of course, Coach Baker said he likes close games. Right. Uh, he, <laughs> probably not this close. <laughs> right, right. I think he'd like to that score to be reversed. He'd be rather be up to with 10.3 seconds left. Leslie County basketball. Melton with it, looking to get it in. Gets it in to Ava Napier. That's who you want to get it in if you're Leslie County. She's fouled quickly by Pavlik, I believe. I wonder if Pavlik's a three-point shooter. Eh? She came in at a point of the game when they needed, yeah. you know, potentially needed the three. She's not, she had one opportunity and didn't take it. Eight, 8.8 seconds. Ava Napier with a basketball. First free throw up and in. It's a three-point lead now for Leslie County, 43-40. to 40. Coach Baker was wanting a timeout. Nobody saw it. Second free throw from Napier up and in. Four-point lead for Leslie County, 8.8 .8 seconds. Jalen Wood with it for the Lady Cougars. Crosses the timeline, six, five, long three from Dameron in the corner. No good. Rebound pulled down by Bailey Smith, and that's going to do it. Leslie County on top wins this one by a final score of 44 to 40 and a big win for the Lady Eagles in the final week of the regular season, John. I'll see if we can stop Ava Napier as she goes by. Come see. I'll give her my headset, John. Let okay. you do the honors. Just a, a phenomenal game by, oh, by Leslie goodness. County to come out on top and a, a huge defensive effort from our player of the game, number 14, Ava Napier. All right, here she is. Are you nervous? <laughs> no. I'll tell you, you got ice in your veins, girl. You go to that free throw line. Thank you. I mean, it's basically two points. But uh, 
Good win for the Lady Eagles. Nice win for the Lady Eagles. Very good win. The hand went through their first loss in the 14th region. Yeah. And then, you know, just a couple days away from the district. Yeah. But I don't have the stats on you on steals, but that's primarily the reason why we chose you as our player of the game. Just the number of steals. I tell you, you your eyes, I mean, you, you're, you're watching that ball. And you're able to steal and went down several layups. I know points wise, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you're 11 points. But uh, uh, we got sisters here. But anyhow, uh, again, 11 points. But again, like I said, ice in your veins. Four or four at the free throw line. Right here within the last, actually, the last uh, 20 seconds, I believe. Really? And. Uh, very good job, though, and uh, congratulations. Anybody out there you want to talk to or say hi to? Nah. <laughs> what a coach. What at the, at the half? You all had a rough second quarter. You got outscored 15-2 to the second quarter. What a, you may not be able to tell us everything Coach Farmer said, but what 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 did she want you all to do? Uh, she told us that we need to just keep on driving the ball, and we just needed to keep on uh, playing as a team is what she told us. She told us that we needed to keep on taking it as a team. <laughs> I'm taking a picture here. Go ahead. She told us that we needed to, because our, our threes weren't falling. No, she, they weren't. Not at all. But then They you, started to at the end, though. Well, you come out the third quarter, you all went four of six. Oh, up, mm-hmm. up to the half, you were one of 11. Four of six the second quarter. And uh, one, two, three, oh, of three, oh, of four the fourth quarter. But the second quarter, I think, yeah. is what really did it. When you outscored mm-hmm. them uh, – 22 to 10. That's crazy. So That's nice, definitely what did it. Nice job. And uh, now you get ready for the uh, district tournament right here on Monday. Yep. Congratulations. Go spend some time with your teammates and your sister over there. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Good job, Ava. That's Ava Napier, a sophomore for the Lady Eagles, our player of the game. And nice job there. And like we said, basically, most of it was for steals. And, uh, and, she has such quick hands. One of the things that she does too is she, she reads that defense. And when she, you know, she especially she's on that opposite side, she's going to play that pass the lane, uh, shoot through there and get a steal. And anytime you get a steal, it gives you another offensive possession in a time when Leslie County needed those offensive possessions. And like you said, John, they had a, a tough time converting those in the first half, but boy, in the second half, such a, a good job, a whole lot more efficiency. They they got that confidence. They saw a couple baskets go down, and, uh, and, and boy, that just sort of propelled them to a big win here tonight over a very good Fletcher County Central basketball team. Well, being down 22 to 11 at the half, and then coming out and outscoring uh, um, Fletcher 22 to 10 at third quarter, and again, hitting the threes, they didn't hit him the fourth quarter, 0-4 from the three the fourth quarter, but again, going to the free throw line, she and her sister were combined were six of six at the free throw line the fourth quarter. And that's who, you know, if you're Coach Farmer, that's who you want to have the basketball. You know, kudos to her and, and, and everybody on Leslie County. You know, that you know who your good free throw shooters are. Get it to them, especially late game situations where you know they're going to get fouled. And uh, give them a lot of credit, man. They stepped up to the free throw line, made some huge free throws down the stretch, and uh, once again propelled uh, you know their team to a big uh, win over, uh, like I said, a very good Letcher County Central team. Their oh, first yeah. loss in the 14th region, and uh, you know if you're Leslie County, it gives you a lot of hope moving forward uh, into postseason next week. Should be a good boost for them, yes. And like you said, if this is any preview of what the 14th region tournament is going to be like, and when you look at the the RPIs in there, a hey, with Owsley and uh, you got Letcher, Owsley, Knott, Leslie, Purry. Um, who Any, else? Who anything can happen. Who am I leaving yeah, out? But those, those are really your top that, That's the top, top five, five or six in RPI and then Hazard just outside <laughs> of that. You don't know? count them it, out. That'll be a, a very good basketball game between Letcher, or between Leslie that's County it, yeah. and Hazard over here to, to kick off the, the, you know, the 54th district at first night. So exactly. just a lot of good basketball teams right now. And it's what you want to see. You want to be playing your best basketball come postseason. And uh, Leslie County proved that they may be doing just that here tonight. Exactly. We'll go ahead and, and kick this one off the air. But before we do, we want to appreciate all of our sponsors, everybody tuning in at home across all of our media outlets. I want to thank our cameramen, uh, Robbie Davidson, Greg Napier, producer Michael Dwayne, my broadcast partner tonight. It's always a pleasure. Mr. John Newell, once again, everybody. 
Uh, We'll see you soon right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network.